Hey you guys, welcome back to Michael Clareda Arts. It has been just a little hop, skip, and a jump since my last video. I've been, of course, busy um, taking care of all of the wonderful artistic uh, and illustration needs of my clients uh, in my private um, illustration business. So it's been challenging here and there to make a video. However, whenever a company contacts me and they are interested in me doing a review for them, I usually have some criteria, right? Some criteria pertaining to art. It has to add to the artistic experience. It has to, in some way, um, influence or be a resource for the artist inside of the studio environment. I have reviewed from tablets to peripherals to lighting, um, and all of these things add to the studio environment, right? I've had some weird requests, but... <laughs> A company by the name of Lumari or Lumary um, contacted me and they were interested in me reviewing um, one of their lighting kits. So this uh, particular lighting kit would probably be more geared towards installation of the outside of the house. Now you're saying, well, how does that add to the artistic experience and the studio environment? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> You know, I sometimes I, I look at uh, I look at what people ask me to do, and I'm like, you know, I, yeah, maybe. Um, you know, as artists, we draw from different areas of our lives, from experiences, from uh, people, from you know, going places and seeing things. And lighting uh, always has been an affinity of mine. Um, my dad. Uh, who is in his, uh, fixing to be, gosh, he's almost 89. He'll be 90 soon. <clears throat> and he was one of the electricians that actually, whenever Disney World was being built, he was one of the electricians that installed the lighting inside of the Haunted Mansion. So there is a little bit of a legacy there um, that was passed on to my dad uh, in terms of an affinity for lighting and having that experience. I love holiday lights. I love going to see holiday lights. As you see in the background, I decorate my studio with different colors of lighting. And I just literally have an affinity for how light makes me feel. You know, I use light, obviously, uh, as an illustrator to affect illustration and mood uh, for the viewer. And I just, I really enjoy having lights. So I said yes, <laughs> yes to the Lumeri people that wanted me to review their landscape light pack. Um, this is available on Amazon, retails for about 90 bucks, and uh, they have sales occasionally, uh, one of them being right now, of course, Black Friday, um, and it's for $70. The, uh, the landscape kit that I'll be reviewing today, I'll be unboxing it, I'll be looking at the contents, and then we're going to actually install on the outside of the house. Now, this isn't something that I need really tools for. And I was very specific on that because I don't want to have to review something that requires screwdrivers and, and drills and all of those other things that manipulate. I mean, that that's something that even though I know how to do, I can't expect the viewer um, in my channel to uh, be able to do that. Right. Whenever you buy a kit like this from Amazon, you want to be able to open it up. You want to look at the contents and you want to say, hey, uh, based on the instructions, I can just install this kit and it shouldn't take me longer than X, Y and Z. And uh, at the end, there is a benefit to it. Now, what makes this particular kit different? It's LEDs and uh, there's a remote control. There's an app on your phone. You can sync it to music. Um, there's a voice remote control. So all these things that that I started looking into um, whenever they pitched it to me, I thought to myself, how cool would it be if I could install this for the holidays, right? Holidays being, you know, your Thanksgiving, your Christmas, your Hanukkah, your Kwanzaa, all of those things that happen near the end of the year. Now, you're also saying, well, how is this going to apply to me um, as an artist whenever, you know, after the holidays? Well, what's really great is it can also be some type of a security measure. You can light up the exterior of your house. Um, and uh, at the end of the day, if uh, if the exterior is not your milieu, then you can go in and you can put uh, the lights inside the house and you can light up your studio. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to do that, but I'm super excited uh, to do this. You know, this particular pack has six lights total and uh, it's got RGB uh, color and white uh, white color. And you can do single color, you can do rainbow colors, you can have individual lights. 
uh, at different colors. There's just so much you can do with this. I mean, even if you were to go in, let's say you wanted to do an outside uh, evening painting, you can set up the lighting to your desire and you can do everything literally from your phone or the included remote. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're going to unbox this particular item. Now I do have the Amazon, <clears throat> the Amazon uh, ad up in front of me and we will be reading uh, occasionally uh, from their ad. And they do have a myriad of different products on Amazon. So the, the name of the company again is Lumari, or Lumari, I believe, L-U-M-A-R-Y. And this kit is the six piece or six light kit. Uh, it's about 56, 57 feet long. And like I said, it's a six pack and it's IP65 rated. So you don't have to worry about water. It says waterproof, but I'm not going to install it underwater. Um, I don't want to get electrocuted. But in terms of rain, you don't have to worry about rain, right? Sometimes products out there, they say that they're, they're, they're X, oh, we're waterproof. And then suddenly you, you do something and they're not. And that's kind of a bummer. But it's great for Christmas. It's great to light up paths to your house. It's great for landscaping, like if you have a pool. Um, and it just really adds to the overall ambiance of your abode. So let's go ahead. We're going to unbox the item. Then we're going to go outside in the 37 degree uh, temperatures because it's up here in the mountains. It's very cold, <laughs> right? Some of you are like, man, that ain't cold. Like zero is cold. Yeah, zero is cold. But me coming from Florida, right? I am used to 100 degrees, 105 degrees. And I'm, I'm easy breezy whenever it comes to that. But whenever it comes to cold... I don't like cold that much. So I'm going to go ahead and, like I said, do the unboxing, see what's inside, see the fit and finish and the quality. You guys know that I'm a big, big proponent of fit and finish and quality and also the packaging. The packaging has to be clear and concise. The printing has to be good. It can't be janky. And all these things uh, add to the entire experience of the unboxing of the product. So let's go ahead and unbox the Lomari. I hate, I hate, I bet I'm saying it wrong. I wanted to say Luminary, but uh, let's say Lumeri. Okay, we're just going to say Lumeri. Um, Six-pack uh, waterproof landscape light kit. And here we are. Here's the box they sent. Uh, of course, it was in a different box whenever I received it. And I opened that ugly brown box and was greeted with some beautiful artwork of the product inside. Again, I'm a big proponent of package design because I do it as a career. Um, I'm an illustrator and a uh, 3D sculptor and I design toys and occasionally I am called upon to do packaging. So whenever I see good packaging, I always call it out. Good printing, nice thick cardboard, uh, of course, and here's some of the information on back. Uh, it shows the model, the voltage input that was required, six pieces, the beam angle at 63 degrees, IP rating IP65, and the lights are supposed to last at least 15,000 hours. I don't know how that breaks down uh, in terms of uh, longevity, but that seems like a lot of hours to me. So let's go ahead and open the box. Very simple. clamshell so we get to open this up and see all the contents inside now one of the things that i have had experience with before is lights that are janky and cheap and i have never really sat there and, and consciously uh took a moment to seek out exterior lighting um because it's expensive right but this company has put it uh in a nice little package and for 70 bucks out the door, you get uh, metal stakes. Now this is important because up here in the mountains, we have rocks, we have red clay, and metal stakes uh, are obviously something that I'm really impressed with so far. So then we come to the remote control, uh, encased in plastic, of course. Let's open the remote control to see if they included batteries in it. No batteries included, but I haven't gone deeper. So we're gonna go ahead and keep going deeper. Here's the the user manual. So sometimes uh, I get these and they look like they've been done on a Xerox copy machine. This one obviously is done well. And if you have any issues or anything like that, you can email them at uh, support at lumari, lumari tech. I'm gonna mispronounce that probably a hundred times. Um, that's really cool. It's got, it works with Alexa, which I have, and I have Google as well as Apple products. So we're going to install this uh, app on my phone. 
Hopefully I can download it from the App Store. Let's see. Yep, right here. You can download this on the uh, App Store and you can also download it on the Google Play Store. And I do have uh, Apple products as well as uh, uh, Android, so we'll be able to see if it works, how it works in the both interfaces <clears throat> for you guys. Um, here's the login, you create an account, so on and so forth, and once you get everything installed, then you probably have to connect it to Wi-Fi in some capacity. So this is going to be a lot of fun. There are multiple levels of complexity whenever it comes to installing the lights, setting up the lights, installing the application, getting it connected to Wi-Fi, and all of those things. So that creates a large obstacle, right? A large obstacle for me to go through to be able to enjoy the lights. But hopefully, uh, based upon the user manual, I shouldn't have too many issues. Here's the little bit of glue on there. Look like... Uh, a little bit of glue on the power. So I'm probably, this is the power, this is the power brick. <clears throat> Lots of cord. And here's the entire unit, comes out as one unit. Wow, okay. So we're gonna go ahead and set this here. What I like about this is there's not a bunch of stuff for me to put together, right? Here's the stakes. Go ahead and unwrap one of the lights. You guys know how I love plastic. Oh, and they're not that big, wow. So what I see already, LEDs on the inside look like a, a hardened uh, acrylic or a hardened glass, and it's thick. That is a thick glass on the front. <clears throat> all metal, this is all metal. There's no plastic and it's sealed. You can see the sealant all in here. So definitely IP65 rated, very cool. We're gonna install one of the stakes just for posterity. Excellent. So I'm looking on the site and it says RGBAI technology. You can create dynamic and vibrant lighting displays, an outdoor landscape, say 16 million RGB colors, creating ambiance in your outdoor space. Of course, if you don't want to do outdoor space, I'm sure in some capacity you can hook this up inside. Maybe you have, uh, you want to enhance your studio environment and you could probably put some type of adhesive on the ground or on the floor and run it that way. Um, let me see. And with LEDs, they don't run hot, which is another big deal because in the past, some of the lighting kits that you would get, they would have the bulbs inside and they would get burning hot. So whenever you were very conscious of placing it near, um, you know, near leaves or something like that, you don't want to burn your house down with LEDs, they run cool. So that's really cool. So each spotlight can be controlled individually. That's awesome via the app. Do it yourself possibilities with your imagination. Of course, I'm reading off of the advertisement here on Amazon. Um, two point work, works with 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi, hands-free voice control with Amazon Alexa, Google Assistant. So if you want to say, you know, hey Alexa, turn off the lights, then you can do that. That's really cool. So all these things in our modern world that, of course, we take advantage of, you know, 10, 15 years ago didn't exist. So again, to install the stake, all you do is take the included screw with the plastic, um, that's the only piece of plastic I see on the item, with the plastic uh, screw head, and you install it. Nice and tight. And literally, I would go outside and I would take this stake and I would push it in. Now, one of the things I recommend, especially whenever you install stuff like this, even though if I've installed this pr uh, preliminary, just to give you an example, I don't recommend you installing the stake like this. I, I recommend you uh, take it off first, install the stake first, and then put the light on. Because if you do this and you put your hand on this and you push, you're pushing on the lighting housing, which could possibly damage things. The hardware, however, is all stainless steel and that looks like a hex head um, for adjustment. And I'm sure once you get everything adjusted, you can <clears throat> tighten that down just a little bit to get the proper angle. You can have uh, timing and scheduling. You can sync with music. Um, we'll change color randomly with the music rhythm, ideal for outdoor parties and families and dinners. Waterproof, of course, with 15,000 hours of life. And it is um, united, uh, say, with a UA, UL certified. So UA is uh, 
I'm sorry, United Laboratories. That has to do with um, the safety and security. And it's very important to note because some of the products coming from overseas um, these days, coming through Amazon, you have to be very conscious of having that UL certification because they take this into the laboratory, they test it extensively, and to earn that UL rating is very important. And here it is right there, right on the power brick. So once you have that UL rating, you can be safe and secure in knowing that it has been gone, it has gone through an extensive amount of testing um, to see if it is safe for the consumer. So let's go ahead and we're gonna go outside. Yay, we're gonna go outside and you're gonna see uh, the beautiful scenery of the mountains. Of course, right now it's gray outside because it's Thanksgiving day and it is uh, kind of gray. We've had some cold weather, but we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna install the lights, and later on this evening, we're gonna have multiple um, shots of the house uh, lit up with the Lumeri, gosh, I'm gonna mess that up, the Lumeri Smart Landscape uh, Lighting Kit. So, very exciting. Let's go ahead and install. Okay, so cold, dreary, wet mountain morning to set up the Lumeri lights here on the house. So I'm gonna switch you around really quick and show you just the overall uh, footprint of um, how much you know we're dealing with in terms of complexity. I was really surprised whenever I got everything out and how non-complex it is, right? Everything is one piece uh, with the exception of the stakes and the remote control um, and once you get the stakes mounted and you get the lights on top of them basically you're just spacing things out to where you want them so let's go ahead and flip you around and let you see so here we are just to give you some context i live in the very north 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 part of georgia we're here in the appalachian mountains and i actually live on a farm so here is the house that i live in so we're going to go ahead and look at the product right here and you can see there's not a lot going on there, right? You have the lights on the left-hand side with the 57 feet of extension cord and you have the mounting stakes right there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put you guys uh, on a tripod and just let you watch. It's gonna be really simple. There's no drilling, there's no uh, you know cutting, there's no splicing. You can see the extension cord right there. It's gonna wrap around. The side of the house, there's a tripod. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, I've unraveled the entire strain of the lights, string of lights. Here's the junction box with the power uh, brick. And here we are. Let's see. I haven't shored everything up in terms of placement yet, but you can see, really simple. Everything's one piece. I got everything kind of sitting out. It is freezing, by the way. <laughs> it's like 38 degrees outside. Um, so what we're gonna do is again, we're just gonna, you know, Go back to the time lapse, let you guys see how easy this is. This is ridiculous. This is so easy. light mounted stake goes in the ground positioned up here onto the house facade we're going to go ahead and continue with the others um this is uh north georgia so we do have a lot of red clay um the stakes are metal so you know just if you have a tr if you have trouble putting it in the clay or ground or whatever, just be sure that, um, you know, you're free of any kind of sprinkler systems or anything like that, because these are metal stakes. And if you were to go in and <laughs> puncture something in your yard, you know, they are metal and very sturdy, you know? So anyway, continue on with the process. Okay, 
Okay, so I've got the second one mounted. So as noted before, these are metal and they do have a nice flat top so you can get a nice bit of leverage when you secure it into the ground. My recommendation <coughs> is to place your stakes first and then put your lights on top of them because you don't want to, you don't want to mount the light, right? And then have to push down on the light housing itself. So you take the stake, See if I can do this here. Hold on. Okay, so here's the unit right here. What I'm doing now is just going ahead and see, I have bushes and shrubbery here in front of the house. So I want to make sure that that does not impede a light. So we're probably gonna have to mount it back here. Have the cord a little bit forward. Maybe right here, your application might be different. So take it, see, and you can just use your palm and secure it into the ground. And it's very secure, that metal, uh, that metal stake is absolutely fantastic. Take the set screw and screw it into the top of the stake. One thing that I would like to note is even though the cord is very nice, I think that having additional maybe um, like a, some type of hook to secure the line into the ground, that way it might be a better option as well because, right, just willy-nilly putting it around shrubbery and, you know, you could probably bury it too if this is something that you're gonna have for an extended amount of time, right? Not just holidays. And what's nice is you can turn these and you can pivot them forward and backwards. And if you need to, you can tighten those set screws using a hex key, which is not included by the way in the set. So let's continue on. Facing these is not really a challenge. At least it's not for me, right? The light is pretty, pretty wide. Yeah, see, I'm starting to hit some rocks. But not a problem. And I'm sure if, if you know, you do have some, some harder, you can just hit that with a rubber mallet. I don't recommend you pounding on that with anything like a hammer because it being aluminum, there would probably be a high probability of cracking it. So don't use metal on metal use if you have a rubber mallet use that it just screws right in literally i've been out here probably 15 minutes and i'm 85 percent done and nice and secure angle it up towards the house right So far, it looks pretty good. I'm gonna angle this up a little bit more. Okay, and here we are mounting the final light. Like I said, I think that the only thing that would probably improve this kit would probably be some of those, you know, maybe stainless steel or even plastic, something to secure the line to the ground, the electric, and we'll put it right here, to the ground. That would probably be a good option. You know, that is something that I'm probably going to have to go to the hardware store for because, you know, I do my own uh, mowing of the yard. <laughs> I don't, not a landscaping guru, but I definitely <sighs> I have a very large piece of property here that I have to maintain. So let's go ahead and see it in its glory. Okay, here is the unit installed. There's one two, three, four, five, and the sixth one spreading across the entire front. You can see it blends very nicely with that black matte finish. And I'm anxious to get it integrated into the house. 
for the holidays. And here we are, the cord is to the side and then it goes down to the basement. Very, very easy, right? And here we are completely installed and powered up. Of course, it is not dark right now, so you can't really see, see the gloriousness. So what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna snap my fingers and you guys get to see all the awesomeness of the Lumery outdoor ambiance lighting kit. Ready? Are you ready? And three, let's get out of blurry. Three, two, one, boom. And there we go. Very easy installation. And what's really cool about this particular lighting kit is the versatility. So what I did currently, if you look on the application, so here's the app, see if I can get it in focus. See right now it is on RGB AI. So if I can basically change, here's Chase, goes through the color variations. Here's Rainbow. And it just goes through the different colors of the rainbow. Here's Flow, press Flow. And every single time it goes through, it's a different color. And here's blink, if you want to do blink. And every time it blinks, it's a different color. That's really cool. And then if you want everything one color, you just basically pick a color. Here's the color, the, and it'd be solids. And here's green. Okay. And what I like most about it is the fact that all these pre-done, already programmed in, just makes everything so beautiful. So we're gonna go and we're gonna do a walkthrough really quick and just let you see the installation and how beautiful it is. Here we go. We're just going to walk up to the lights themselves. And I'm thinking basically, if I had two more kits, I could light the side of the house, the front of the house, and the other side of the house. And it is absolutely beautiful. This really, I mean, it was so easy. It took about 30 minutes to install. The vibrancy, the durability, the price point, the ease of operation, the fact that it's got an application that I can go in and use pre-programmed, you know, lighting scenarios. What a phenomenal product. I just can't talk enough about it. Yeah. Beautiful. <sighs> I'm going to go to the end of the driveway. I mean, come on, you guys. Look how beautiful that is. It's just so wonderful. Oh. Yeah. Just beautiful. And one of the cooler things um, that is, of course, integrated into the system is the fact that I had it pre-programmed to come on at 5.15 and it automatically shuts off at 11 p.m. So it's really a hands-free, plug-in, forget situation. I mean, look at this. Oh, I love it. Uh, big shout out to Lou Mary for this kit, I highly recommend it. I mean, A++, gosh. I've, I've put lights up before and I didn't have this kind of effect. This is phenomenal. So, lights installed, man. What a beautiful, beautiful ambient light, ambient light that these lights create uh, in the evening, especially for the holidays. And the fact that you can go in to the application and um, you know change the color, change the 
frequency and you can do everything from the comfort and the warmth of your house. You don't have to go out and mess around with programming stuff and you don't have to mess around with any of that. The folks at Lumerie has really uh, taken out the complexity of the, um, of the outdoor lighting, you know, holiday type deal. Um, in terms of, of how hard it was to install, I think one, you know, one out of 10, let's do that. One out of 10, one being installing batteries, right? Uh, into our remote control and 10 being, you know, um, maybe changing a starter out on a car or some type of car maintenance or something like that. Uh, or fixing, putting RAM in a computer, you know, for some people that's beyond their capability. Um, I think this is probably about a three, right? Everything was inclusive in the package. Um, everything was very clear and concise. The, uh, the user manual was very informative, had pictures, had picture reference, had directions that were very clear and concise. And I thought that was fantastic. Um, the only, uh, complex thing that I thought, um, maybe if you're not used to pairing devices with your phone, uh, you know, whenever I downloaded the application, uh, the Lumiere application from the app store, I had to create a username and password. And I did get a, um, a confirmation code that I had to put in for security measures, um, which I thought was great. Uh, you can also pair the application and connect it to your Alexa, and you have to sign in um, using your Amazon to add the uh, to add the device, and then you can just basically say, "Hey Alexa, turn on my lights." And that has to do uh, probably with uh, the fact if you have an Alexa or if you have one of those devices, the Google Assistant, and it does pair with both of those. Once I got into the application, it was super easy to use. You know, it paired with the device really easy, and you can go in and it and it tells you in the in the user manual everything that you can do. But it's very intuitive. The user interface is very clear. I don't get in there and think that you know that I'm lost. Um, you know, it's just basically touch and it expands um, and, and you can go through it uh, very, very easily. Um, for the price point, which is, uh, I'm trying to pull up my, for the price point right now, Black Friday deal being $69.96 and it is um, free returns and it looks like free shipping as well because I have Prime, which is awesome. And even, I would say even at $90, this is a really good deal. The fit and finish, the quality is wonderful, and uh, I, I foresee this lasting years and years and years and years and years and years. Um, the only thing that I, I you know, want to note, especially, and I mentioned this in the installation, was the um, the power cable, right? The power cable is kind of willy nilly. It's kind of, you know, eventually from the sun, it'll probably settle down nice and neat. You can bury the cable if you want, if you wish. But I would like to have maybe um, some type of, of metal prong that goes over and it secures it to the ground a little bit better. That would be my only suggestion because honestly, they thought of everything. And this is, gosh, this is a really great kit uh, overall. And I'm looking forward to uh, enjoying it through the holidays, through the year. And um, yeah, so thanks to Lumery, to um, all the guys over there that sent this over. I really enjoy it. And this is going to be definitely something that I'll utilize uh, in my day-to-day -day life. How does this apply to the channel and art? Well, you know, I think that uh, lighting in and of itself is something, you know, and color is something that I enjoy and it is a enriching, right? An enriching uh, device. You know, it's not any more um, uh, complex than, right, a lamp in your, in your house. You have that to help light your house. This basically helps me, um, you know, whenever I come up to my house and it's just got a beautiful look. It's just, it's, it's, it's one of those little details, right? That we add to our lives. And I think that would really be great <laughs> if everybody did it. Um, yeah, you just, it doesn't have to have a season to do it. Uh, but anyway, thank you guys. And, uh, hopefully you enjoyed this really short, um, video, uh, reviewing this light kit and, uh, we've got lots more happening, lots more coming. So uh, stay tuned and uh, definitely go out and, uh, you know, it is the holiday season and it just turned over the holiday season here in the States. 
go out and see, uh, you know, get some insp inspiration and maybe pick yourself up the uh, light kit from Amazon. Um, thank you guys, and we'll see you soon. Bye. Thank you.